Colin, what do you think your biggest improvements were from game one to game two? Um, just kind of being in a flow of the game, uh, finding opportunities to catch and shoot. Uh, it was credit to my teammates. Those guys found me early on. Um, still got to be better just in terms of the ball, making plays, making decisions, trying to get back in the rhythm and the flow of things after not playing for 12 months. So um, I'm going to get more reps and just get more comfortable with it as we as we move on here. Did you feel more comfortable from game one to game two? Yeah, I think it's, it's going to start to slow down, obviously. Um, there's no three-on-three, five-on-five uh, workouts that can translate to games. And um, I think just the more of the reps that I get uh, in game situations at game speed, I'll be able to make better decisions. But um, that's one thing I want to clean up here going forward. The courtside row was filled with Nuggets players. For you to look over and see that, being a champion with them, what did that mean to you? Oh, well, it's special. I mean, it just talks. It just tells you about the team that we had last year and uh, the vets. Those guys show up and uh, they're here to support us and uh, they want to be a part of it just as much as we want to be a part of them. So um, it was really cool. What's that challenge of playing alongside another point guard and what are you kind of learning in that role with two point guards on the court? I like it, obviously. Um, playing with another guy who could just set the offense at the pace um, and make plays for other guys. And um, I think I could play off the ball just as much as he can in terms of just shooting, running off screens, um, and then letting him make plays, let him make decisions. And um, I think the more we play together, we'll get more comfortable with it. Obviously, we haven't played together. And even in training camp, we didn't get to play a lot of time together because uh, we had a point guard in each team. So um, I think we'll get more comfortable with it. But um, I love playing with Pick, and uh, he does a great job of just controlling the tempo of the game and uh, making plays for other guys and for himself. Shooting the three, how big of a focus has that been for you over the last you know, several months? I've been able to do. <laughs> so uh, I've just been able to lift, shoot threes, especially early on in the process, uh, not being able to do much movement, just stand still stuff. So uh, just trying to perfect my craft as much as I can with that. Um, but like I said, it, it, it's hard to translate to game speed and game situations. You got to get it off. And you got to get it off over over bigger guys. So um, I think I'll get more comfortable. It'll slow down for me. I'll be able to pick my spots a little bit better uh, going forward. You were a good shooter before the injury. Is there anything that you did with your shot, like adjustment, or is it just staying in flow? Uh, no, just staying in rhythm. Also working on getting it off faster. Um, playing at this level, the guys are bigger, they're quicker, more athletic, so they can get the shots uh, a lot faster than guys in college. So. Um, just working on getting my release quicker um, and getting it off over, over bigger guys. JB in both games has talked about you guys needing to improve with rebounding. How do you do that being a smaller team out there? Uh, be more physical. Uh, I think that's something we got to go into next game uh, just from the beginning looking to do. Be more physical on the glass. Um, and all of us can rebound even at the guard position. So we got to get in there and help those guys out uh, as best we can.